Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your casual consumer's review. This shoe was a shoe that was intended to buy, but when it first dropped online in Adidas Canada, I was busy with other launches that I totally forgot that they were releasing on the same day. When I finally remembered later at night, I checked online and it was sold out of the sizes that I was interested in purchasing. I called my local Toronto's Adidas original store, but they told me they didn't have them in stock, so I missed my chance in getting these. However, a week and a half later, which was about two days ago from this video's upload date, while I was visiting downtown the other day and stumbled into the Adidas original store, they actually had them in stock of pairs in my size, the last pairs left in the size that I wanted as well. This is the latest revamped version of the iconic Adidas tennis shoe, the Adidas Stan Smith PK Prime Knit Boost that I have here for a review. For those who have watched my content before, I have already done a review of the Adidas Stan Smith Boost but I thought to myself that I might as well do a review of the upgraded Prime Knit version of this as well. Now let's take a closer look at these shoes. This silhouette is an updated follow-up of the iconic sneaker, the Adidas Stan Smith. It's a classic 1970s shoe endorsed by American tennis player Stan Smith, used for playing tennis initially, but now has since evolved and worn as a casual shoe in the present day. On the last update, Adidas added their top-of-the-line boost cushioning technology to the original Stan Smith. And this prime knit Stan Smith version is a follow-up of that cushioning system, which is famously known as their most responsive cushioning that has energy return properties on our every step. Also known as the soft pillow compression that everyone is talking about while wearing Boost, while offering an ultra comfy stride and bounce. The amount of Boost on the midsole is the same as the normal Adidas Stan Smith Boost that came out a month ago, no more and no less. It is full length Boost for those who are wondering that you can directly see when you look at the shoes. However, looking at the upper, the biggest update to this shoe has got to be their decision to implement their top of the line fabric material. Prime knit. This upper is made out of a material so soft, light, thin, and stretchy that when you wear them, you won't feel much around your feet as if you're barefooted. The upper aesthetic is very simplistic, donning a white upper that reminds us of the original models of the Stan Smith. Both the lateral and medial side of the sneaker looks exactly the same. Because the upper is made out of prime knit material, the knit is very elastic. It will mold and expand with your feet when you wear them, while offering the adaptive support and ultralight comfort around our feet. As we move upwards, we will see that they used a flat, creamish white lace to give the sneakers an extra blend of color. While under these laces, we will see the tongue of the shoe, and at the tip of this tongue is the signature Stan Smith label in green. This label is also found on all current Stan Smith shoes, so it should not be a stranger. By a touch, wherever you see green, the label feels very sticky, almost like rubber. The label is hollow though, so the white part that you see here is actually prime knit on the tongue peeking through. The tongue is pretty thin as well, not much support or cushion, it's just a simple white and flat detachable cloth on top of our feet. At the back of the shoes, the design is much like the previous versions of the regular Stan Smith, with a low heel design donning a shade of green at the top. However, on this prime knit pair, they didn't include the iconic Adidas logo and just used the plain green color to finish off the look. Inside the sneaker, there is some soft creamish white leather lining here that serves as cushioning for the back of our feet. This is the only part of the sneaker that has some reinforced material around the shoe, as the whole sneaker is literally made out of thin prime knit. If you want to be specific, there is a soft felt-like piece of overlay around the lace holes, presumably to give strength to the prime knit at that area as we tighten up the sneakers, but that is the only other reinforcement on this shoe. Also, many Boost shoes do not come with insoles, and falling into the same category, this Adidas Stan Smith Boost Prime Knit is the same. You will see a felt-like piece of fabric on top of the Boost midsole separating our feet from the Boost. It's not necessarily a bad thing for many people, but I personally think insoles do wonders with comfort. Flipping over the shoe, we see the familiar Stan Smith outsole for whatever traction it gives from the multiple round and uneven rubber nubs. It's exactly the same as the outsole on the Stan Smith Boost, where there's little round boost windows so the boost material can expand and contract for better compression results. At the center of this outsole, you will see the word Adidas and the Trayfoil logo to end off the minimal branding on this shoe. Anyways, here are some Adidas Stan Smith Boost Prime Knit fit footage. Fit wise, it was a head scratching moment for me. For reference, I have wide feet and my regular Stan Smith and Stan Smith boots were always great at my true to size. For these, I ended up getting half size down from my true to size because at my true size, it was just too loose. Especially because the upper is made out of prime knit, the knit itself does not have structure and expands with your feet, meaning the knit will stretch according to the size of your feet and ultimately create more room inside the shoe. 
There was just too much extended space near the toe box at my true to size, so I bought a size 10. Now that I have tried the size 10, lengthwise, it feels great, but widthwise, the side of my feet are hitting the edge of the boost material inside the shoe, and I do feel some irritations there. If you have narrow feet, I don't think this will be a problem, but with wide feet, you might want to consider trying on the shoes or buying them at your true to size to avoid the problem I'm having right now, but that sacrifice will be the extra toe room. Comfort wise, the boost cushioning on this Prime Knit version feels exactly the same as the boost on the Stan Smith Boost. If you have not tried a pair of those, the compression is definitely squishier around the heel of the shoe, whereas the front, you don't feel as much unless you stomp really hard on it. It is better than the NMDs in my opinion, but I wouldn't say by much, so no, it does not compare to the boost on Ultra Boost or EQT Boost, but it is a little softer than the new Pure Boost 3.0s. Upper wise, you can't go wrong with Prime Knit. It fits just like a sock and expands with your feet, so it is very comfortably designed, especially for the warmer months. Price wise, these were at $190 Canadian before tax, $30 more than the Stan Smith Boost without Prime Knit. Personally, if you ask me which I prefer, it really depends if the upper is a huge deal for you. It's a tough question for me actually because I like both, but versatility wise, I have to choose the regular Stan Smith Boost because the upper on the Stan Smith Boost is leather. It's thick, it will be okay in winter seasons or rainy days. Prime knit, the shoes and my feet will be game over. The cushioning on both models are the same so that doesn't change. But I have to mention, the Prime Knit Boost is probably one of the lightest shoes I have felt in hand. It's just as feather light as the Nike Fly Knit Racers. So if you are a fan of not feeling any weight on your feet, these are a pair of shoes that you don't want to miss out on. If you already have a pair of the Stan Smith Boost, personally, I don't think you're missing out on much. Let's put it this way, when I think about the Stan Smith, the leather upper and the contrasting green color with the Adidas Trefo logo is the first thing that I personally think of. Everything that was about the original Stan Smith is now transformed into a modernized model to adapt to current aesthetics, so it does lose some of its roots, especially the change of material and the removal of the iconic Adidas Trefo logo at the heel. But if you are looking for an upgrade from the regular Stan Smith, these Stan Smith Boost Prime Knit are not a bad choice. As always, throw me some likes if you liked the video and let me know in the comments if any of the boosted Stan Smith released so far were on your radar, as I personally think Adidas did a very smart move in adding modern technologies to older iconic models that will look great for years to come. That's it for today, S2W signing off.